you guys, it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo County Corso. Mm, so I'm out here with the dogs. Um, I don't have, I only have one male out right now, which is Grim. Um, hello, sweetheart. And that's because um, Remy's in heat and I don't want um, other males out. And um, that's actually a female mounting a male right now. That's Freya mounting Grim. So the reason why Grim is getting all this special attention right now, he's the dog right here in the middle. Um, <clears throat> and the reason he's getting attention right now and kind of in a way almost kind of getting dominated and beat up a little bit. So everybody's kind of jumping on him. And this is not um, free reproductive stuff. This is literally um, them kind of dominating him because I have a female that um, we just studded him out to named Melina. And... Um, and so anyway, they're all smelling, you can see them smelling his, his um, reproductive organs. <laughs> Try to be scientific over here. And, um, and that's what's going on. So he's, and I had an older video of this, um, of a preacher having this happen to him um, whenever I had, whenever he was used on an outside female. And you'll see all the females are jumping on him, they're mounting him. And like I said, it's not that they're trying to, um, you know, fornicate with him. That's not what that's not what they're trying to do. They're literally dominating him um, because he smells like an outside female. Um, and so anyway, and of course he doesn't like it. So he's, you know, even even we have Blondie here doing it too. Um, Velocity got mad. So basically, he's in trouble right now for, um, for, you know, for basically, you know, for lack of a better term, cheating on the pack, if you will. Uh, and we got Remy over here who is in heat. She is. She's not quite ready. Um... And so uh, he's not paying as much attention because it's still a little early for her. I was gonna put her to, um, I was gonna put her to Anakin, and then I changed my mind. I basically decided that I don't want to take a chance on a young male right now. Anakin is, um, he's younger. He's not too young to breed, but you know, he's um, a younger male in a home with a um, with an older male, and sometimes. That can cause them to mature a little slower. And I just don't want to take the chance um, of not having a successful pregnancy because we did miss a bunch of females this year because of the whole Hefe thing. And then for some reason, Mona didn't take. You guys, I can hardly breathe with all this dang dirt in the air. <sighs> Normally they don't um, cause this much of a stir up, but they're in a bit of a a thing, a bit of a tiff because of Melina. Um, we got Switch over here mounting on Mona, which really she's just playing with her, which I think is kind of funny. I've got Zlatan over here on the outside. I've been working with him today. So, um, but everyone's doing really good. Um, they're all, look at Velocity. Look how good she looks. She's lost some weight. I had to put her on a diet, but look at that. Look at that structure. You see how really and truly you, you, there's so much about a dog's structure that you don't get to see when they're overweight. Um, it's like, it's just hiding, hiding the beauty. Oh, look, look. So that was, that was Blondie over there messing with, and Velocity's like, get off me. Oh, look, look, she's mad. Velocity is literally asserting herself. I see you, honey. I see you. Get down. I got a puppy getting on me. Man, they have made quite the mess over here. Quite the... Ooh, Nirvana. So Remy knows better. Nirvana has absolutely zero tolerance for Remy. Look at that structure. Look at you, pretty Asia. Look at you. Oh my God, look at you. Aren't you pretty? Hey. So we got somebody getting too amped up about the puppy. Hey, Saffron. 
she's getting territorial and her logic. That's a perfect example right there of why I don't like my dogs just sitting in people's backyards because, or even having my dogs in kennels because when you have them in a, ca in a caged environment, it brings out a very territorial and instinctual part of them that is not based within the logical side of the brain. And so her, her ability to logically recognize that that's a puppy and that he's from the pack is completely gone. She only sees him as an intruder because he's outside of the pack. Zlatan! What you doing, boy? Sweetness, good boy. Good sweet boy, yes you are, sweetie. Yes you are, sweetie. And we got the, we got the little bulldogs out here too. Got them bulldogs. We got them bulldogs. What did you bulldog? Look at the happy bulldog, yes you are. Who, oh no, you're not a bulldog. You ain't no bulldog. Hmm. So anyway, it looks like they've looks like they've forgiven him. So here we go again. Here's that behavior I was telling you about. Saffron obsessing over a dog that oh 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 what do we have there? So we had Blondie get onto Jolene and Jolene really did not give that up at all. Shh, quit jumping on me. Stop it. Yeah, Saffron's still keeping the watch. And um, you can see her drive is different. Then Mona's drive. Mona's just, she looked, she don't care. Um, but Saffron is a drivier dog. And she may get in trouble for that. Because some of these, some of these more logic-based dogs, um, and it really comes down to their training and stuff like that, and also temperament. And age, you know, maturity is a big part of it as well. But, um, but she may get in trouble for being too, too drivey around a puppy. We'll just see what happens. Because sometimes that does happen. At Nerva uh, Blondie, cut it out. <clears throat> She's trying to get on to switch. Who's at my feet? Hey, hey, hey! You cut that out, kimchi! Very much her grandmother, her great grandmother's daughter, and very much her mother's daughter. She is very fiery. There's a lot of um, noise and commotion, but like her mother, there's not a whole lot actually going on. She's just very loud. Don't you get rough with my puppies. Trying to assert herself. Let me go out. There you go. Hey, Nirvana, quit it. Now, the only reason that I'm able to work my dogs like this, have them out like this, is because I spend so much time with my dogs. You know, <clears throat> every, like most people go to work. And they come home and they spend some time with their dogs, but I'm here and I work with my dogs every day, multiple times a day. And, um, and so they've got a lot of, of time together and experience. And, um, and it's a wonderful thing that I'm able to give them um, the ability to be together and bond and um, have these very natural interactions. Zlatan! No, don't you jump on me, Jolene. Don't you jump on me, punk. At ah, girls! Shh! Ibiza! So Ibiza has a thing about Vienna. I think they're too similar. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Ah, 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 don't chew on me. No. Let's see if we can... Quit, you guys. Stop it. Let's see here. Move. Go on. Move, move, move. Want to get out of my way. Yeah, so that's Vienna and Ibiza. And um, Nirvana, cut it out. Um, now, for some reason, shh, quit. Ibiza doesn't like Vienna very much. And um, I think it's because they look too much alike. I think they're, they're both, they're sisters out of the same father. They're not um, full sisters because one of them <clears throat> has a different mother than the other. But they're both Adam and Mortigan. They're both tall, lean dogs. Um, they're very similarly built. And I think that... Um, <clears throat> I think that Ibiza feels threatened by how much they are uh, look alike. Because Ibiza is typically a much taller dog. No, get off me, quit. 
Um, she's a much taller dog and normally that's like kind of her thing. And I think that she doesn't like that that's Vienna's thing too. But I will say that Vienna's time here is kind of running out because she's not coming into heat cycle. She's not had a good heat cycle. And you guys know that I don't like working with dogs that have, um, that don't have good, um, that don't have good, stable, normal, um, reproductive cycles. I don't like, um, breeding that kind of stuff in. At the very basic, a dog in a breeding program should be able to breed. Of all things, they should be able to produce. And so, if they can't do that, then, um then for me it's an automatic disqualification and that's why it's really important i had i had seen a comment and i blocked the person um and i don't block people just for saying things i don't like but i can tell when a person doesn't actually watch and and has their it's like they have an opinion about me that's not they're not like asking a question they're, they're not open to anything like that and I had somebody who basically was trying to tell me that I shouldn't breed bullies because I have so many dogs and I can't give attention to all my dogs and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, first of all, you know, um, you as a person who watches me on the internet does not have the ability to assess my limitations. And it's very, I would say, um, inappropriate to do so. Like, I don't think that people in general go around telling other people what they can or what they should or shouldn't be doing in their lives. Kimchi, I'm watching you. And um, and so anyway, and then on top of that, you wouldn't go around, you wouldn't walk up to somebody in the mall or walk up to one of your neighbors and be like, yeah, no, I, I don't think you need to have another kid right now. Like, I think you have too many children. Like, it's just, we just don't do that, right? It's weird and it really shows that you have poor boundaries. Um, so first of all, I do want to mention that. there. It would be one thing to ask. By the way, those are two females. Hey, Saffron, get off. Um, it would be one thing to ask and say, are you sure? Like, whatever. But um, but anyway, but on top of that, they were like, oh, and she's got like 30 plus courses. It's like, actually, I don't. If If you haven't watched and you think I still own every single dog that I've ever kept... Um, back, then sure, yeah, absolutely. But the reality is that every year we keep back a certain amount of prospect dogs. And out of those dogs, only a handful of them get to even stay. And then that is also offset by the amount of dogs that are retired out of our program. So I've actually, um, I've actually maintained about the same number of dogs. Hey, what do you got? No, you are not going to chew up that plastic. Psh, no. Zlatan. Psh. He ran away from it. Good boy. Good boy. Don't eat that. I'm going to grab it. But anyway, um, but like I said, it's a, it's a thing where, you know, you have to watch. You have to recognize that, you know, and then, and then she made the, also in the same sentence made the same, the comment that, and I had rehomed all my originals. So on one end, she's complaining that I have too many dogs. But then on the second end, she's complaining that I've rehomed dogs that are original, therefore would be too old to breed, which just isn't true. The only original dog that I don't have is Cashmere. Um, Belladonna, I would not consider to be an original dog. I would consider my original dogs to be Blondie, Preacher, Velocity, um, Nirvana, I would say is even similar to that. Uh, Batista. So I have quite a few dogs. Uh, Mad Mortigan. I have, I have all of them except for ones that, um, didn't work out. And the thing about it is, is like, you can't criticize me in one breath for saying I have too many dogs and I can't give attention to all of them yet. Then simultaneously say that, well, I shouldn't, I shouldn't get rid of old dogs that, that don't have any more use in the program. Now, having said that, I still have some of my retired dogs, and I still do plan to keep um, retired dogs from here and there, but it's always selective. It has to do with how well they do in the pack environment, whether or not I think that that's the best thing for them. I don't really consider myself at all in the equation. Hold on a minute. i got to pause this to take this from him. He knows it. Look at him. Look at him. Look at me. Hold on. Okay. Sorry. Um, come here, Zlatan. Come on. Good boy. Um... Let me, let me monitor this real quick, make sure 
Look at her. She's gonna she's gonna nibble on her baby. That's um, switch nibbling on her baby. Look, see, Saffron doesn't care at all. As soon as he walks in, no, get down. She don't care. Um, so the reality is that you have to assess each dog as an individual um, to make the decision on whether or not to keep a dog in your program or not. Some people don't keep any at all. Quit. Ibiza. Um, some people don't keep any at all. Some people keep all of their dogs. I would say that... Um, that, you know, the, the, the people that I do know that keep them all, um, they don't get veterinary care. Hey, stop. Psh, ah, psh, quit. No. I don't want them to getting psh, too rough with her because she's um, smaller and... Um, see, now they're going to get onto her. I mean... At ah, quit. Ah, stop it. Leave her alone. Now. Shh. Um, so like I said, for me, I really shh, quit. Shh. I I really take it into consideration um on the individual. Like Nirvana, for example, super into me, loves me very much, very attached to me specifically. You know, she's going to stay. Um, a dog like Vienna, you know, she could care less about me. She's out here, but she's not, she doesn't really approach me. She's not super connected to me. You know, she would go. Saffron, same dog, not super attached to me at all. Um, you know, doesn't have any kind of, you know, any, any of that. So she would go. Um, you know, Jolene would probably go. No special attachment there. Hey, hey, you. So she did not like that a dog that was more submissive that she did not see as more dominant as her was basically trying to, to dominate her. And she didn't like that. Um, but anyway, um, you know, every dog, like I said, it's always an individual. That's what I take into account. Males always stay. Mm, males always stay because... They are typically always in use. Um, and by the time that they're not, hey, quit, stop it, quit. Um, by the time that they're not, they're usually too old to rehome anyway. So if there's a method to it, not that these people um, will, will, will recognize that, but for those that who are just interested to kind of know how it works and why we do what we do, you know, there's a reason for that. Oh, and what I was going to say is a lot of the, the people that I know that keep every single dog in their program and never they never retire them out, those dogs don't get the kind of life-saving veterinary care that, the, that they would if they were in a pet home. And what I mean by that is that there are limitations to how much people can spend when they have too many dogs. And that's just something to keep in mind. It's not about them being mean. It's not about them not being loving. It's just literally financial. There's only so much you can do. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get these dogs inside. And, um, and I'm going to talk to y'all later. Bye. Nirvana, get off. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Bring it in.